over just the past few years. We have seen Leander, Texas go from this hidden gem of affordability to this up and coming boom town, to then a hot spot, to then a place with plans to be a future destination, and now a place that could potentially be a bad idea in 2022. If you'd like to learn why, stay tuned. Hey again, everybody. This is Frank with the team of agents at JB Goldwyn Realtors. Each and every week, we put out tons of new content about Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and ring the little bell to get notified whenever we put out a new video. In addition to that, we love the reach outs we get now every day from people just like you in need of our help when relocating to Austin, Texas. So keep them coming. Don't hesitate. Shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week any time of day we've got your back when moving to Austin, Texas. So yes, these days, as mentioned, Leander, Texas has been growing quite a bit in popularity and in our experience been more popular than the beloved Round Rock or the quaint Georgetown or the more affordable Huddos, Mainers and Taylors of the world, perhaps even Pflugerville. It has been quite a hotspot for people relocating here from out of state. However, also as mentioned, it's looking like it might not be the best idea depending on who you are and what you're looking for. So rather than talk more about Leander as we have a bunch of other videos highlighting the great things about it, why don't we just jump in and discuss some of the things you might want to keep an eye out for. For starters, in order to better understand why it might not be a great idea, we have to address the plans that Leander has in place for its evolution. And the two biggest of which are going to be a massive shopping center called Northline, which is going to be mimicking the domain in North Austin, Texas in the Tech Corridor, and its plans for a four acre lagoon called Leander Springs, which is going to have restaurants and swimming and things of that nature, lots of shopping. So for starters, what used to draw a lot of people into Leander for the longest time was its schools, its safety, its proximity decently to a lot of the things happening in Austin, Texas or the Tech Corridor, but maintaining a safe, quiet, really suburban small town feel. That is the charm, that has always been its charm. And now with these plans, that could really change and change dramatically. And the reason I say that is because it's plans for Northline. It's not just gonna be some shopping center and, and that's it, like, like in typical suburbia. Um, what I will say is that because it's going to be kind of similar to the domain, that's going to mean a different thing. So the domain in North Austin is more than just a shopping center. It's kind of like Austin's second downtown. It's, it's a hub. People live at the domain or near the domain. Lots of people work at the domain, obviously. And it really is a hotspot with a bar strip and movie theaters and all of these things to do that really make it more than just a typical, hey, let's stop at TJ Maxx this weekend or Marshall's this weekend or Nordstrom Rack this weekend. It's gonna be more than just one of those things. It really is going to be a hub. And what that means for Leander is that an influx of people are going to be relocating there to be close to that as it is going to be a new destination and an influx of people are going to be working there. So you can expect your peace, quiet, safe, tranquility to change a little bit. The, the traffic is going to be dramatically different. The culture is going to dramatically shift. And all of that in addition to Leander Springs, as I mentioned, is really going to make Leander, Texas this place that is really, for lack of a better term, is just going to be different. It's, it's not going to maintain the same feeling it has in years prior as it has drawn a lot of people to it. So you might be looking at Leander, Texas, and you are excited for these new developments and changes, and you want to be part of that growth and evolution. Or you might be someone who looked at Leander for the reasons I've already discussed, and now you're kind of being turned off by it and its commercialization and ultimately how it's going to get more and more expensive. So let's talk about Leander's affordability because in addition to the culture change, in addition to the population that's going to change, in addition to the traffic that's going to change, another thing that is rapidly changing in Leander, Texas lately is its affordability and why it might not be such a great idea anymore, depending on who you are, to choose Leander, Texas as your next place to live. So. Once upon a time, Leander, Texas was similar enough to Hutto, to Maynard, to Taylor, one of these up and coming places that's safe and respected and affordable. So it wasn't too long ago you could find a median home price in Leander of the 300s and then eventually the high 300s and then the low 400s. But now all of a sudden it is $470,000 on average that median home price. 
which now puts it in the tier of Cedar Park, Texas or Liberty Hill, Texas. These places that are all around half a million dollars. So keep in mind for Leander, this is happening before its plans for Northline or Leander Springs have even really gone into place before they've even been finished and completed. So imagine once these places are what they are and Leander has evolved into what it is becoming, imagine <laughs> what that 470 median home price is going to look like in a matter of two, five, 10 years. And if you're an investor that might get you excited, but if you're looking at Leander and the cost of living there, it could be a turnoff. Lastly, on the subject of affordability, I'd be remiss if I did not mention the property taxes in Leander, Texas. <laughs> so a little bit of context, the greater Austin area is becoming increasingly infamous for its property tax rates. And a lot of the people we've helped in the past have told us that they are used to property tax rates of 0.5%, 1%, 1.5%, etc. And in Leander, Texas, <laughs> you will find property tax rates of at least two and a half percent, easily 2.75, 2.85. And in the case of a lot of these new build communities where these builders are spitting out the homes, you will find property tax rates of easily around 3%, sometimes even above 3%. So uh, I don't say that to deter you or dissuade you, but it is something to keep an eye out for if you're looking at Leander, Texas, and you have all your ducks in a row with your finances, but you might not be accounting for that. This is all about the more you know, so keep that in mind, it might not be the best idea for you. Moving right along to yet another reason why Leander, Texas just might not be right for you, ultimately is subjective, but it's going to be Leander's proximity from downtown or the tech corridor. So the truth of the matter is Leander, Texas does not have any major employers, at least as of yet. Of course, because the plans I mentioned, those are going to be major employers down the road, but as it currently stands, nada zip and a lot of people who come to live in austin texas yes they might be working remote from home which is great but the truth of the matter is a lot of you guys might be working out of corporate downtown or you're coming here to be part of the tech workforce in the north austin area so the reason i say it's subjective is because a lot of people might be used to working just to hop and escape away maybe a 5 10 15 minute commute um and Leander being about 35 minutes from downtown and about 20 minutes from the tech corridor on average, it might not be what you're looking for. It might be a bit of a stretch if you're going to be working 40 hour weeks, commuting morning and evening. On the flip side to that, a lot of the people we help are coming from the coasts, so they're used to the traffic in San Francisco or Manhattan or Los Angeles where their commutes are easily an hour, sometimes two hours just to get to work and then get back from work. So if that's the case, this could be a breath of fresh air for you, but I thought it'd be worth mentioning because Leander, Texas is in the greater Austin area. It is not part of the central metro downtown Austin area. It is the burbs. So I thought it'd be worth mentioning just to keep in mind if that does matter to your situation. Now, real quickly before moving on, drop a comment down below with any opinions or questions for us to get involved with. If we've been providing any value for you, consider liking the video as well. Remember to subscribe and lastly, share it with anyone you know who's wanting to learn more about living in Austin, Texas. Moving right along, another thing I'll say about Leander, Texas and why it might not be the best idea anymore going into 2022 is the fact that it is becoming more competitive. So I'm not meaning to insinuate that you're going to get into bidding wars where whoever wins is going to go $50,000 over asking or $100,000 over asking. That's not really the case for Leander, Texas, so rest assured. However, as I mentioned, it is no longer that hidden gem. It is becoming quite the hotspot. So a lot of people are wanting to get into Leander, Texas. And what that means is that a lot of these new build communities are going to be sold out in a blink or some homes, yes, are going to be a bit competitive with their bidding wars. People might waive the rights to this or waive this or waive that in the contractual process. Now, thankfully, that isn't going to be the case for all of Leander, Texas, obviously. And a silver lining is that a lot of these builders do the first come first serve kind of approach, which a lot of our clients have liked in the past. But really, ultimately, what I'm getting at is if you really want something that is going to be less hot, less in demand, Man, you might be wanting to look at Hutto, Texas, or Pflugerville, Texas, or Buter, Bastrop, Maynard, one of these places that is up and coming, yes, but isn't so 
much of a hot spot, especially with the plans that are coming to Leander, Texas. Now, lastly, what I'll say about Leander, Texas and why it might not be the best idea, depending on who you are, is again, one of these more subjective reasons, and that's going to be the subject of culture for Leander. So I did briefly touch on how it's very possible and likely that in the coming years, its culture will change and change dramatically. But as it currently stands, and until those things are completed, Leander, Texas is going to be much more Texan than it is going to be much more Austin, if that makes sense. And so if you're coming to Austin, Texas, and you're excited about its artistic culture, its progressive culture, its eclectic culture, numerous things to do, outdoor activities, crystal shops, avocado on toast, music venues, comedy theaters, all of these things that make Austin, Austin, well, you're not really going to feel that in Leander, Texas, and not dramatically so, and no, it's not some hick town, don't get me wrong, but Leander, Texas being on the outskirts of Austin naturally is going to feel much more authentic Texan Southern, and so you might like that because a lot of people come here for the hospitality, for the warm people, for the friendliness, and those are all very real things. They're not just stereotypes, but you might be coming to Austin because you want maybe a slice of a little bit what you have on maybe one of the coasts as Austin is the least Texan city in Texas, right? But you're really not gonna get that as mentioned unless you're really in the heart of Austin, Texas. So that's something I'll mention how it might be a surprise to you if you're coming to visit or we take you on a tour and you're expecting Austin, but Leander is just a Texan suburb, you know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. But remember, as I mentioned, if I were to get out my crystal ball, I do anticipate the culture of Leander eventually changing in the coming years. It's just that as it currently stands, if you're going to move there anytime soon, it's still just Leander, Texas, and that might be great for you or it might not. So hopefully that paints you a bit of a clearer picture of Leander, Texas. You might be even more attracted to it now, or you might be more turned off by it now. And the goal of this video was certainly not to talk you out of it or deter you, to disenchant you, to dissuade you. But what we do on this channel is just keep you aware, tell you how it is, and ultimately help you arrive at your own conclusion. And whether that conclusion is still Leander, Texas, or anywhere else in the greater Austin area, that is what we are here for, to help you relocate. So do not hesitate, whether you're nine days away or 90, shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email any day of the week, any time of day. And again, each week we put out tons of new content about living in Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and ring the little bell to get notified whenever we put out a new video. Consider liking it as well if we've been providing any value for you share it with anyone you know wanting to learn more about Austin, comment down below with any opinions or questions for us to get involved with. And until the next one, you guys, my name is Frank, this is Living in Austin, Texas, and we will absolutely catch you later.